Now, in this lesson, we're looking at angle types. Now, angles are used to measure the amount of turn. And a good way to see this, we're going to start by looking at a blue arrow there. And we'll have a red arrow. We'll put the red arrow on top of the blue arrow, and we'll turn the two. So about that point there, starting from zero degrees, we're going to turn that red arrow. Now, when we do that, we can classify angles as follows. If we start the turn, we can see there we've formed an angle. And this is an example of an acute angle. Now, acute angles are between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So we keep turning that red line. All of these are examples of acute angles. Now, we get to a stage where we're nearly finished with the acute angles. If we turn a little bit more like that, where the red arrow now is pointing straight up, we have what's called a right angle. And that equals 90 degrees. We mark it as such. So these are classifying the angles. We go a little bit further now. If we keep on going, that now is known as an obtuse angle. It's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So we keep on going. All of these are examples of obtuse angles. Now, a little bit further and we have got what's known as a straight angle. All right, that's a fairly straight way of saying it. Straight angle. And that equals 180 degrees. What happens if we go a little bit further? Well, we are now into the realm of reflex angles. And they are between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So all of these angles there would be a reflex angles. Then, what happens? Go a little bit further, we've gone a full circle. We've gone a full 360 degrees. And we'd call that a revolution. Terrific. All right. So they are all the classifications that angles have. Now, an angle can be named using the letters about the angle. So we've seen how to classify an angle. Now we'll see how to name an angle. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to name the angles that are marked below. There's a first one there. Now we can see that the angle looks to be about angle C, don't we? That, that's marked in red there. Now we'll call it angle ACB, where that symbol in front of the A is known as angle, the angle symbol. Angle ACB, why can we call it like that? Well, if we were to trace the angle out, we could start at A, and then draw the line to C, and then draw the line to the point B. So we've traced out that angle. And in the order of tracing, we said ACB. On the other hand, we could also trace out the angle, the reverse. So we call it angle BCA. Let's have a look at that. Starting at B and tracing that angle out. So we get to the point C, then to the point A. So that's why we could also say it as angle BCA. Now the simpler name in this case, though, is to simply call it angle C. Right Now we, we can't always name all the angles just with a single letter because sometimes it's a bit confusing. But certainly, if we call that angle C there, there is no confusion at all. Now what about example 2? Let's say we try to name that angle that we've marked. Okay. Now the type of angle it is, do you know what type it is? That would be an obtuse angle, right? So that's how we would class it. But in terms of its name, we're going to use the letters around it. Now, if we get rid of that line there, okay, it's not really, not really involved with the angle, is it? So let's just dismiss it for the moment. We call this one angle YXW because if we're starting at Y, tracing the angle down to X, then across to W, we could say that yes, angle YXW. What about the reverse, WXY, angle WXY? Starting at W, drawing a line to X, and then the line to Y. Yes, we've also traced out the angle that way as well. Now, if we continue that line, and then we say, why can't we call it angle X? Well, the reason we can't call it angle X is because are we talking about this angle? Or are we talking about that angle? All right, both of those angles are at the point X, aren't they? So that's why there's a bit of confusion in a case like this. So we can't call it angle X by itself. We have to choose either angle YXW or angle WXY.